Today, psychiatrists are targeting shock treatment on new population segments. Pregnant women are now told that ECT is safe for them and their unborn child. When a woman is pregnant, she shouldn't drink coffee, she's not supposed to smoke. There's a whole list of things that are bad for the baby when it's in the prenatal stage. However, pregnant women are getting electric shock, causing miscarriages. It boggles the mind that something like this can be given to a woman who is growing a, a baby in her body, that of course the electricity is gonna affect her and her unborn child. Children are an increasing target for ECT psychiatrists. It's a horrible idea to give electroconvulsive therapy to children. We don't know what the long-term effects are, but it only makes sense that repeated seizures like that could cause cognitive difficulties, learning difficulties, and damage to the nervous system as it's developing. You're gonna destroy an adult brain, just think what you could do with a child brain. You could do much more damage take away his whole future. There is a very good scientific reason for why children should never undergo ECT. In a fully matured brain, there are between 60 and 90 billion nerve cells. And they, when they die, they are not replaced. But in children, the, the brain is still developing. So if a cell is killed in an adult, that is one less brain cell the person has to operate with. But if a cell is killed in a child, then not only does he lose that cell, but he loses all the other cells that that cell would have created during the development of the brain. So ECT is more dangerous to children even than it is to adults. Right now in the United States, through Freedom of Information Act, CCHR has uncovered the fact that 16 states are currently electroshocking children and adolescents, and five of those states are electroshocking children aged zero to five. Psychiatrists give electroshock to children all over the world. In Australia, children as young as four receive electroshock. In Turkey, nine-year-old children receive it explicitly as a punishment. I'm an ex-law enforcement officer. Much milder things can land people in jail than to send a, a child through that type of trauma. We have a, a society where a parent can't even spank a child, but psychiatrists can put 400 volts through the brain of a child. Under the definition, it's abuse in no other way. You are inflicting harm to a child under the guise of treatment. The World Health Organization issued a strong injunction that there are no indications for the use of ECT on minors, and hence, this should be prohibited through legislation. Yet both the president and the CEO of the American Psychiatric Association have formally urged the head of the FDA to make ECT broadly available to children and adolescents of all ages. It's a campaign aimed at our most defenseless, with little government oversight. One of the things that the marketing campaign does so brilliantly is to talk about electroshock as a treatment of last resort. That is what we call a lie. There are psychiatrists in the States who recommend electroshock for all sorts of things, including inscriptions like autism, ADHD, learning disability, and they recommend that that is the first treatment that people are given, not the last, not the end of the line. 